2023, I'm really excited about two things. The no-code, low-code aspect, a lot of people building without being a developers, and also the sustainability aspect, doing the same thing with less resource, so for a better future and more sustainable. Well, 2023, we will release a new version of the OWASP Open API, API top 10, right? Brand new, early 2023. And every developer will have to read this and become much better at security. I think what's exciting is we're seeing APIs transition into the world of business, real value realization, so the new challenge is scale. How are we going to scale all of this for real markets, real use, and real embedding? Uh, what I'm really excited about in the API space for the following month and year is really that at last developers are taken into account and so more and more organizations think about the user experience of internal developers because they take care about the experience they provide with the API governance which is a really great change in big organizations. I'm really excited that uh, the discipline of API product management and particularly the role of the API product manager is now beginning to come into its own. Uh, it happens to be at the center of a discipline for realizing change in large organizations and small uh, and there is now a real appetite to get through and make a difference and that's where we like to help. Yeah, GraphQL, 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 GraphQL. Uh, yeah, lots of uh, things that we need to figure out, lots of opportunities, GraphQL security, um, figuring out uh, how GraphQL uh, works inside your existing infrastructure uh, and things like that. Okay, Eric. Uh, I think that uh, we are assisting to, to a transformation between a very uh, technical vision of API to a more business vision of API, the, the digital product, and that's really interesting for 2023. That's a really good question. I really do believe that everything that relates to the event native, event driven part is really a huge trend in the market today. And a lot of tools will be created, will come up to answer this question and to make the world better, basically. I am really excited for governments to start sharing more openly about how they use APIs internally to transform how they serve the public. Uh, I think a big trend is we're seeing more and more sort of uh, specialized components in the API world, so it's like management, you know, maybe privacy, security, and essentially more sort of fine-grained focus on, on uh, various tools that are available in the API community. So I, the thing that strikes me about the, the current environment is it's all multi. We're dealing with multi-clouds, hybrid cloud integration, uh, and multiple API styles, as well as um, multiple CI/CD pipelines. So the ability to uh, connect all of these in a um, in a repeatable way is what will help make uh, organizations uh, uh, agile and, and able to uh, to respond to uh, next challenges. Okay, over the last year we've seen a consolidation of power amongst a smaller number of companies and that hasn't served us very well. What I want to see with APIs in 2023 is a move towards open ecosystems where everyone can participate and co-create their own value. So I'm really excited about developer success because I believe that, uh, especially with the recession, uh, there's going to be a shift from developer experience more towards developer success as the way that you uh, measure and try to improve your API program. Now, I think it's the business of APIs. It's marketplaces, it's collaboration between developers. It's a really, really exciting area in 23. So for 2023, um, if I walk around the conference here, I've seen a lot of startups coming up um, where we've tried to like unbundle the API management uh, layers into more like decoupled parts. Yeah, I think uh, many companies will deploy more than one API management solution and that will be a big task, a big undertaking to manage that all from one place. And I think that will be the topic for 2023. Being here, I think that, that for next year, uh, probably APIs and AI, API governance uh, and GraphQL are the, the key points to, to have in mind. Yeah. What I'm really excited about is seeing a lot of new role uh, arises. Uh, like for example, the business is being more concerned with APIs. So now you need to have 
API salesperson who need to understand APIs to sell them, API product marketing, API marketing people. Have all the functions around the business, they need to be specialized in APIs in order to better uh, market them, sell them, and uh, bring them to, to the market. So one of the things that excites me with APIs is empowering more people to use them and give access to technology. And I think using APIs with new, to new tools like no-code tools, I think that, that will be a, a big trend. Yeah, I think the most exciting thing we've seen, and we've seen a lot of energy from here and a lot of energy from our customers, is around GraphQL. We're particularly interested in what that means for security and how that fits in. And I think the other thing I'm excited to see is whether the push to cloud-native and containers works and, and gets the momentum we think it's going to get.